Officially, the CDC reverses its indoor mask policy, citing their latest data. Eight in ten sequence samples contain the highly transmissible Delta variant. In areas with substantial and high transmission, CDC recommends fully vaccinated people wear masks in public indoor settings. The CDC's recommendation applies to places with substantial or high transmission, defined as more than 50 new cases per 100,000 people, diagnosed within seven days. In this CDC map, you can see the southeast covered in red. That's high transmission. Now, California is barely below that in the orange category. Our ABC data team noticed multiple Bay Area counties are surpassing the CDC's transmission standard for indoor mask guidance and are in the red category. Now, what led the CDC to take a step back and reinstate this mask guidance is a concerning scientific finding. Information on the Delta variant from several states and other countries indicate that in rare occasions, some vaccinated people infected with the Delta variant after vaccination may be contagious and spread the virus to others. At the CZ Biohub, epidemiologist Dr. Patrick Askew and his team have been supporting the state's health department with their COVID sequencing. He understands why the CDC took a step back. What that indicates is what we're currently doing is not sufficient to keep case numbers down. Some of the latest data indicates that as the Delta variant continues to mutate, transmissions in some cases are happening fast. We have seen reports from Australia, for example, where they have very low case numbers and they're able to track people where just passing in the hallway can be sufficient for that transmission event. Yesterday during a press conference, we asked Governor Newsom. So it's California also considering to reinstate the mask mandate as the Delta variant spreads. Our focus is on vaccinations, so there'll be no need. The CDC highlighting breakthrough cases as rare, but still happening as the Delta variant gains strength, and now their concern is what's next. Every time another person gets infected, it gives the virus an opportunity to mutate again. We don't know what it could do in the future.